Hi, welcome to Casting in the Corthus. I'm Andrew Schufelt, part of the Czech Television Fishing Team. I'm often asked what are the differences between a spinning reel and a bait casting reel. Today we're going to explain these differences and when and where to use them. First off, we're going to talk about bait casting combination. This is a Shimano Sojourn rod paired up with a Shimano Kanan bait casting reel. As you can see, the bait casting reel sits on top of the rod with the line guides facing up. This is the reel, this is the drag, this is the tension knob, and this is the variable braking system under this side cover. And this is a spinning outfit, a Shimano Claris rod paired up with a Shimano Sahara reel. Also notice that the spinning reel hangs down and the line guide is facing down. This is the handle, the bale, and the drag system. As you can see, there are visible differences between the two outfits. Let's first talk about the more common combination, the spinning rod and reel. This is likely the combination that you own and is also the combination that I recommend most anglers purchase as their first rod and reel because they're so easy to use and so easy to cast. Spinning rods and reels really shine with light line and light lure situations. I suggest that when you're using monofilament line that is lighter than 10 pound test and lures that are one quarter ounce or smaller, I recommend using a spinning rod and reel. You can cast light lures with ease even into heavy winds. A bait casting reel is powerful and with the drag tightened down, they act like a winch and they can really haul in the fish with all the weeds that they're wrapped in. Also, when the bass are tucked under the heaviest cover like cane, pads and thick weeds, the best presentation is flipping or pitching your bait. These two techniques are easiest with bait casting tackle and it's what I like to do when I'm on the tournament trail. That's it for this segment of Casting in the Corthus. Catch us next time for more great fishing tips.